I've been in here yet. It's cool. Sure. This whole place is incredible. <laughs> uh, what were your first impressions when you guys got to go in the new locker room and walk around here? Oh, it was awesome. We're we're so we're so freaking lucky. Um, you know, I it's definitely far and away the coolest locker room I've ever seen, been a part of, and um, just huge thank you to everyone who helped make that possible. And um, you know, I think I think we're all just trying to be as grateful as we possibly can because it's, it's really really cool. What was it like? You know, the last time you had been on a football field in a competitive setting was coming off that Navy game. What was it like finally being out there in a game situation again for you? It was a lot of fun, you know, because. Uh, you get to compete and play quarterback at, you know, at practice during camp and throughout the summer. But, you know, once the bullets are live, that competitive fire is just a little bit different. And, um, you know, it, to be honest, it felt good to get hit a little bit. It felt good to get banged around a little bit. Um, and uh, being back out there with the guys, like there's, I was telling Coach Woods, you know, we were in, a pre, in our stretch lines and I was just like, there's, there's just nothing like it. And there's nothing that even comes close to it, so. Um, you gotta thank God for letting me be able to come back and um, play the game that I love again. And uh, I just feel really blessed. After having some time to reflect on the game, maybe watch some of it back, is anything new kind of jumping out to you maybe that we didn't talk about post game? Um, not, not a ton. I mean, I feel like, uh, you know, like I said, after the game, I think our O-line did a great job. You know, they kept my jersey clean pretty much the whole night. And, um, you know, I think there's there's definitely a couple of things that um, you know myself, receivers, kind of the whole offense as a unit that we got to get the same page on, get on the same page with. But um, overall, I just I couldn't be more proud of how we how we fought in the second half, and I think it's a testament to the brotherhood that we have, the culture that we have, that um, you know we're not going to give up when adversity hits, and I was really proud of the way we handled that. A lot of coaches talk about that jump a team takes from game one to game two just how important is it for you guys to clean up some of those things you know going into this one and really feel like you you do take that that step yeah I think um yeah I think you're exactly right you know there's always tends to be a pretty big jump from game one to game two um you know I think I think the biggest thing that's going to take us throughout the whole year is that we've got a lot of guys in the team who really love football so um regardless of if we're beating a team 60 to zero, or we have to score with a minute left to win the game. You know, most, almost all these guys are going to show up on Monday and um, be excited to just play football again. So um, that's, that's what I've seen in our past two practices this week, that there's a lot of excitement. Um, you know, a lot of that might be sparked by we're about to play our first home game, new facility, but um, more than anything, we got a lot of, a lot of guys on our team who really love football. What was it like for you to use the in-helmet communication in a game setting? Coach Lashley said he was, Forgetting to press a button a couple times. <laughs> uh, what was that experience? There, there was once or twice um, where I had to run over sideline. Like, Coach, I can't hear you. <laughs> um, but uh, no, it, it was really cool. It was really cool. Um, you know, I think it, it definitely helps with just uh, expediting my process. You know, how I how I look at defenses, how I get guys set. Um, helps me make that a little bit faster. And um, I was. I was really thankful for Coach Lashley, just his demeanor and the way he communicated to me throughout the game. Um, helped me stay calm and uh, helped us finish in the fourth quarter. With going into the game, knowing you were getting the first two series, Kevin was going to come in the next two. How did you kind of approach? Did you approach those first two series any differently? And then kind of how did you approach the two series where he was in, where you kind of get to step back on the sideline and, and kind of watch before you go back in? Yeah, um, you know, that was a experience that I hadn't really had before. Um, but when I was on the sideline, you know, I, my main focus was just trying to pick up anything I might be, I might not have been seeing the first two series. Um, but as far as my first two series, I was, I was going out there. And I think you guys could tell in the second play, I just wanted to cut it loose and rip the ball. So, um, no, I, my, my approach pretty much stayed the same going into the game. And um, once I came off, I was just trying to pick up anything I could. Uh, I know you talk post game about him, but RJ Maryland, just a guy who can create mismatches. Like you mentioned, you see him one on one, you know that that's uh, going to be an opportunity. How big is is he as an asset in in that regard? Huge. He's huge. Um, RJ is obviously incredibly talented, 
And I, I think you guys got to see that um, on top of that talent that he has, you know, when, when we need him and when it's the fourth quarter, he's going to step up, which there, there's a lot of really talented guys across the country. But I think there's a small percentage of guys who can really take over a game when you really need a team to. And RJ is definitely one of those guys. Is there a biggest thing that you want to see yourself or, or this team uh, do on Saturday, uh, whether differently or build on on last week? Um, you know, I think uh, we, we were all really excited to play. Um, that's something that we pride ourselves on, regardless of which game we're playing. You know, we, we want to be the most excited team on the field. Um, I think probably the biggest point of emphasis is just being consistent throughout the whole game. Um, you can tell we kind of stalled in the first half. Uh, from an offensive standpoint, um, and in the second half, we got to really, you know, stack drives, and it's like they're still working on the building a little bit. <laughs> but uh, I think the name of the game is consistency for us. Is that it, guys? It's awesome. All right. Good. See you guys. Thank you. Ground and go in the locker room. What was that like? It was great. Uh, just, you know, finally getting to being here after seeing it being built for the past, like, year and a half. This was uh, uh, awesome, just all the people that put in their time and money to get this place built. This is great. I know you had big games in high school, but have you had a game like that where, you know, kind of fourth quarter game on the line, you you made that many big plays? Uh, in high school, yeah. Uh, but, you know, this is really my first time in college having a big game like that because in high school, we a lot of times we'd be out by the – the second quarter playing at South Lake Carroll. So, uh, yeah, just being able to play a full full game and just make plays, it's awesome. What was the experience like for you splitting staff with Matthew Hibner, and how, how do you think that rotation worked? Yeah, it's great. Matt's a, he's a great addition to our team and our tight end room. Uh, it's great to have another tight end that can go in there and the level play stays exactly the same. And, uh, yeah, it's great to have Matt here. Coach talked about, you know, if he's not here, you're maybe playing twice as many snaps, and who knows if you're able to make some of those plays in the fourth quarter just with that kind of wear and tear. How big is that, too, to feel like you're fresh in the fourth quarter needing that kind of game-winning drive? Oh, yeah, it's it's great because um, I know sometimes in the past there's games where I was playing 60, maybe 70 snaps, and, uh, yeah, it, it gets tiring eventually. And uh, doing that throughout a, a whole season, it can really take a toll on your body, so... Yeah, just being able to play only about 40 snaps, it's good for us. Preston talked about just the energy going into, you know, coming off a win and then going into your home opener. What are you hoping to accomplish this weekend as a team? Is there anything in particular that you feel like you want to improve on from last week? Oh, yeah, we're just worried about us. Uh, we prepare for every opponent the same. And, you know, um, no matter who our opponent is, we're going to prepare the same way for everybody. How big is, you know, obviously with what's coming last week to kind of fight through some stuff, be able to win this week before you kind of go into that 10-game gauntlet that's that's kind of awaiting you guys? Oh, yeah, it's, it's good to have that fight early. Uh, so, because obviously that's not the last time this, in this season when it's going to happen. Uh, it's probably going to hit us again quick. So, yeah, just being able to get that out the way and uh, it's good. And just for you, you've kind of, I mean, you played a ton as a freshman, you played a ton last year, but you've grown uh, both physically and into a really dependable player. Just how much pride do you take in the growth that you've made over the last you know, two plus years here in this program? Oh yeah, it's great to see myself grow as a player and a person for the past two years. Uh, yeah, it's crazy just coming here, getting on campus when I was 17 and then to where I am now, it's just, Seeing that growth is awesome. I guess just, I know the win was the biggest thing, but to, to get those ACC accolades, you know, the, the first guy for SMU to get those uh, with that conference move. Oh, yeah, those those accolades are awesome. Uh, yeah, just the, the whole team as, as a whole, you know, we've just been able to just, you know, play great, and we got the win, so it's all that matters. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Arthur.